hello guys welcome to our channel school lab work so today we are going to start with an activity of chemistry basics so we will start with basic lab apparatus to advanced lab apparatus in chemistry lab so let's start with a practical so whatever i am wearing that is known as lab coat it is used to keep our safe then next is goggles and the third one is gloves these are basic safety apparatus we should wear them before starting and any activity we are in lab next is test tube it is used to hold small quantity of chemicals and to heat small liquids in the lab next is our apparatus is test tube holder it is used to hold the test tube while heating it keep our hand safe during the heating process next is test tube rack or test tube stand this is used to hold the test tube in upright position these are of two types metallic and plastic metallic is used for the hot test tubes so it will not melt during the holding heat or heated test tubes next one is uh, our test tube press this is used for cleaning the test tube from inside it is very accurate to clean them before using and uh, our next one is beaker it is having beak so it is called beaker it is used to hold the quantity in ml or it's an approximate measurement it is used to hold liquids inside it next is our round bottom flask it is used for heating chemicals in over the spirit lamp or bunsen burner next is conical flask it is used in titration or swirling process during the titration any type of chemical we can swirl in it next item is measuring cylinder or in igcsc we call this graduated cylinder it is used to liquid measure liquids in accurate amount like you can see it is 25 ml it is it comes in different size next is funnel it is used to pour any chemical in bottles it is used with a paper that is known as filter paper now you can see in the video so we fold it in one third then keep it in the felt, uh, funnel then we separate any liquid or solids with the help of this next item is dropper or we can call it pipette in icsc it is used to take out any chemicals drop wise and we can it is very helpful in the lab while dealing with any type of concentrate or liquid acids our next item is our next item is watch glass it is used to put the chemical inside it it can be used for evaporation also and our next item is china dish or we can call it evaporating dish it is used to make evaporation process easier like in crystallization we use this next item is crucible it is very important to heat very high temperature it contains two parts lead and crucible above one is called lead and next is crucible it is used to heat high temperature process next is tripod stand it has three legs so it's known as tripod stand it is used with a new another apparatus wire goes so it's a specially net type structure of wires it separate the heat in equal amount and you can see in the you can see in the image so how it is used and next is split lamp it is basically a heat source it contains split inside it and it provide uh, heat to the compound or substance whatever we are heating so our next item is glass rods it's made up of glass it used for stirring it contains two parts top it is the holding part and next is bottom it is used to crush the salts inside the solution while dissolving and next part is pipette it is used in volumetric to measure 25 ml you can see the marks clearly it's uh, around 25 ml capacity it's also come in different capacity like 20 ml 10 ml and 25 ml our uh, next item is separating funnel it is used to separate two immiscible liquids it's contain a valve on the bottom side you can open it like perpendicular and then you can close it like this it is used to separate two immiscible liquids like oil and water by opening from the top we pour the chemical inside it so we can use it like in separating two immiscible immiscible liquids next is wash bottle it is used to contain distilled water 
in the lab it's a pure source for distilled water so we contain the water inside it next is thermometer it comes two types thermomercury and uh, alcohol so red tip bottom is used for alcohol thermometers it's used to measure the temperature of any chemicals while we are heating and our next item is spatula it is used to take out the salts from any box or any container we are used in stores so it's take out like spoon but it is known as spatula we don't call it spoon in the lab next is tong it is used to hold the heating heated substance like beaker crucible or china dish it is used like to hold the apparatus while heating process to take out from the heat next is thistle funnel it is used to pour any chemical or any acid through it while a closed container and our next item is forceps it is made of metal it's like twigs it is used to hold any particular thing inside the any apparatus or chemical next is cork it made up of rubbers it comes in different size we used to it seal in to seal the any container like test tube flask any container so i am showing you with the youtube it's a contain u part so it's known as youtube so how we use rubber cork you can see in the video so it's basically our first activity after a long time so whatever you want to know about any other lab apparatus you can tell me or i hope you enjoy the video so like share and subscribe the same and refer to your friends also thank you let's meet in the next video